What's going on? You follow me, okay? Back again? And... Oh. Why, you've brought a visitor from the Academy, I see. I'm not with the Academy. I left. Studies too strenuous? Well then, it's good it was your choice. Others have not been so fortunate as being extended the offer. Studies too strenuous? I didn't need to study. I already knew how to do magic. Ah, yes, you are a sorceress. A natural. Who is this elf? He's got a smart mouth for a merchant. Better watch it or I'll burn this shop of his down. If you set fire to the rafters, you'll find the place will draw your energy out of you until you lie quivering on the floor. It is Vantine Scython, if you are familiar with the historical codex bearing his name. I didn't care much for history, or the Academy books. Ah, then perhaps you may wish to hold your threats until you do. Now, how can I help you all today? No, no problem at all. I certainly wouldn't wish to speak ill of anyone standing before me. Oh, don't stop on my account. I'd hate to think you couldn't say whatever you needed to say to my face. It's really not worth a cup of coin to go into at the moment. Let us just say that we have... academic differences. Yes. You follow me, okay? Great. What's wrong now? I don't know. Maybe he was turned away from the academy, or refused a teaching position. It wouldn't be the first time. 
All I know is, he shouldn't have been talking like that to me if he knew what was good for him. By the gods, that smug arrogance. I would have liked to have burned it off his self-righteous face, asking me about the academy, my studies, how dare he? The masters at the academy were a lot like him. A worthless bunch of hunched mages poring over books and potion bottles. 